Hello everyone, I'm going to be doing a video to show you guys how I sort of do shadowing and making things look a bit 3D. It might not turn out great because I'm using brushes that I don't normally use. It's just, I've got a job tomorrow so I've packed everything away neatly but I've kept one palette out and a few brushes, spare brushes that I keep in um, this plastic wallet. So I'm going to be using those just to show you how I'll go about doing um, shadowing and I hope this video helps you. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to, uh, I don't know if you guys have seen the um, picture I uploaded to Facebook, the sort of spider web, so I'm just going to do a spider web. So for that I'll do teardrops like so. I'm just going to connect those with use. Okay, so that's my simple spider web just there. And to sort of make it pop, um, I'm just going to show you over here what I usually do on, my, on the back of my hand. I get a tiny bit of black on my brush. Oops, there it is. So say if I just tap that on the back of my, um, if that was my hand, you just water it down. You can make this as light or as dark as you like, it depends. But you sort of want it that sort of colour there, you just want it to be like a watery black. And what you're going to do, you're going to imagine the light sort of shining down from here. So I'm just going to add a quick shadow like that. Okay. So you see how that works? You can go back in and darken it, but I like to just get it right the sort of first time of doing it. And if any lines have rubbed out because it was still watery, just go back in and fix them up. Like that. Um, I was using an American painter brush there as number five. I don't normally use that. Now I'm just going to load up some white. I think that's the white. Yeah, that's the white. Sorry, I thought it looked a bit silver. Right, so this is a chameleon size zero. It's a zero zero. So now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to add like a highlight on top of the web sort of just makes it pop a little bit you can either just leave it to that on the teardrop so you can go back and sort of line the U shapes as well and if you want darken up the um, shadowing but I wouldn't make it too dark because sometimes it can sort of start to look unrealistic and you sort of want it to look real at the same time and yeah so you just don't want it to lose the wow factor when you do it so it'd be like something like that so it sort of looks like it's popping out the skin And then you can add whatever you like on top of that, like flowers or whatever really. So I'm just going to show you how it would look with a flower added on top. So I'm just going to do one of the normal double dipped um, flowers. Just loading up the brush, double dipping it. So I'm just going to press, press, press press and press. I picked up a bit too much pink so it looks quite pinky rather than white. There we go. I hope this tutorial helps you um, 
learn how to do shadowing. I will be doing some more videos on some other sort of stuff where you can add shadows and sort of make it look 3D. So I hope this helps and I hope you enjoy doing shadows on whatever you create next. So thank you for watching and please rate, comment, subscribe and put in requests for what you would like to see next. Thank you. Bye.